All right, let's see how this works out for you guys. I found that on a little uh, camera stand that they have. So what we're going to do here now, now that we have all the factors correct and we have uh, all of the information that we need, uh, we, we now know it's a uh, it was going to be a two and a half to one attack, but we have to halve these chappies because they are DG'd and we're using, uh, so it would be five to one. And there's a zero difference in the AR ratings because we're using where is he? these guys as the ARs and you can't see that from there, but they're both fives. And now we have to roll for, uh, now we have to roll for the, uh, <laughs> for surprise. The good news is that there is no surprise. The bad news is there is no surprise. So now we do a straight up five to one attack in the open. <laughs> and uh, that makes up for everything. This is one of the better attacks I've had in uh, a while. Yeah, that is just a total ass kicking for the Commonwealth. That is, uh, now let's see how we apply this result. We apply it to the attacker first. We have no modifications to the result uh, in terms of AR efficiency ratings or anything like that. But the uh, attacker gets an exploit three. So that would mean you grab a little exploit counter. And although this has a four on it, we're just gonna put this here for the hell of it. You get an exploit counter. And that means any unit that has an exploit uh, an efficiency rating or AR rating of uh, three or better would get to move in the exploit phase. And that is a good thing. Now, uh, we now then get a DL2, O2, DG. So uh, they're already DG, so that's not gonna affect anything. But DL2 means it's gonna take two steps, losses. And the first step loss has to come from here. We are gonna need counters. Oh, and I only knocked my water over. That will be bad. So there's our first step loss. We pop a step loss on this guy. Now, the critical thing here is we have to take a second step loss, and we're gonna put a second step loss on this guy. Well, that's a four, that probably won't work, Kevin. Oh, there we go, oh, there's a one, All right? So that's the two step losses. Now, in order not to retreat, I would now need to lose an additional two steps because it says O2. And I believe that means that uh, that's my option to retreat. And we are indeed going to take those step losses because I'm a jerk, one. Uh, and I think I'll actually lose this guy too. And that means that we get to stay in place as the Commonwealth player. And we are, we are uh, DG'd of course, oops. That's called taking your licks to, to hold your line. And I will show you where they are, just to refresh your memory. Actually, you'll probably remember because this video hasn't been too long, I don't think. But I'll show it to you. If I can do this with this big attachment here. And basically, they are right where that, see where that white X is? There's two white X's. And the other second. Hello, Mr. Camera Guy. They are right there. Okay, that's a pretty good result for these guys, particularly since they get to now exploit move in the S white phase. Although I do have to pay uh, for supply, I have to pay for uh, the supply for all of this, and that's going to be expensive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He didn't fight. Twelve. Twelve T. Thanks for coming. There's eight. And I actually have to pull them all from the same location. I think that's how that works. So there's four, eight, twelve. So they're gone. And these guys had to pay 2T, so we'll take 2T from them. And then we'll move on to the exploit phase. And we'll talk to you later. I'll let you know what happens.